All right, guys, it's your boy George. I'm doing a on the road room tour here at my boy Eric's house. We are checking out his collection, and let's let's take a quick look at what he's got. So, you know, he has a wall full of artwork, which I dig. I need to get some more artwork on mine. I really like how he has his. So he has these these uh, little artworks of Wolverine. You got Thor. You know, you got Spider Man. You got the Hulk. They look to be about about maybe like 18 inches tall or so, 20 inches tall each piece. So it, it looks nice. It, it definitely, it definitely, when you look at it from a distance, you know, it gives it a real nice feel. So I like that. Really neat. All right. And then you got this, this Iron Man helmet. This is from Hasbro, I think, who makes this, yep. right? Legends? Uh, Legends, yeah. Yeah. So this is the Legends piece right here. I own this helmet as well. I think this is a badass looking piece. I really like the way he has it displayed there with the anchor on the wall. It does give it a really cool look, you know, and the eyes light up, which is dope. I think you have the battery connected to it. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I believe the. On the yep, on your. There you go. You guys can check that out. Check that out. It's dope, right? Really cool. All right. And then we got another Hasbro piece here. This is the Legends Molnir hammer. This is Thor's badass epic god hammer that we got going on. Now, does the hammer light up and make noise? It does, but you have to swing it and press the button. Oh, you have to swing it and press the button. Okay, yeah. so we're not going to swing the hammer because I am not worthy. So, I'm not doing that. All right, so it looks really cool. I like how that's got displayed. He does need a Thor statue to go with it, though. I got I to gotta tell him that. That I do. Yeah, we're gonna get, we got to get you a Thor statue, bro. All right, so then we're moving into some real classic sideshow here. We got the one-fifth scale. The This is the J. Scott Campbell line mm -hmm. of Spider-Man. And this one here is Shadow Cat. Black Cat. Sorry, Black Cat. <laughs> Whoops. Big fail. <laughs> All right, so this is Black Cat. And Shadow Cat's from where? Shadow Cat's DC? X-Men. X-Men. All right, X-Men is Shadow Cat. Damn, why do I get those two mixed up? Right. <laughs> I'm leaving this all on camera so you guys can make fun of me. It's okay. You can leave them with all the comments there and just make fun of my, my, my blunders. All right? So this is Black Cat, J. Scott Campbell. I've always liked this piece. Very sexy look for her. J. Scott Campbell does some amazing looking women. All right? So check out the little detail out there. I love how she's squeezing on that Spider-Man looking yarn, which looks dope. You know, very simple base. And, you know, I, I think one fifth scale has a nice, nice size to it. It's a good mix between quarter and one six, you know, nice in between. Real nice detail on that. And I always like the paintwork on this one. So really cool. Love that face. All right. Then moving into the Mary Jane. This is also a J. Scott Campbell. This is the one of the other parts to it. And this to me of this line is my favorite of this of this uh, of this line. There's also a a Gwen Stacy that he's looking to get. So all my boys out there, if you have a Gwen Stacy that you're trying to get rid of, that you just don't feel like she fits in your collection anymore, holler at me. I will help you get that sold. My boy's looking for one. You know, hopefully it's not too bad. Please don't beat me up on the price. <laughs> so, but this one here, Mary Jane looks beautiful. I mean, I've always liked this piece. This one here is on at least my top, my top 10 of female statues that were ever created you know and i love how she has the spider-man costume this the upper uh, body part um yeah the costume anyway whatever uh, wrapped around her shoulders like that i think it looks dope and lots of nice color in here you know you're looking at the pants and everything what, and what i love about this is that it has a really good comic feel to it so they really captured j scott campbell's art style you know very nicely really cool looking piece all right and then moving down we got the man himself spider-man this is also part of the same collection like I said, the only one he's missing is Gwen Stacy, and he will have this full set. So he's definitely hunting that one. This Spider-Man looks awesome. I love how he's positioned on the wall like that. Got a classic Spider-Man pose right there with his web slingers ready to shoot out. You know, and then, you know, you have this amazing paintwork again on this one. Lots of nice shading and detail on this. It's fantastic. Really, really love this, this one here. Really cool. Yeah, really nice set that, that he has. Can't wait to, for him to get the Gwen Stacy to finish that up. That'll look good. All right. And then we have the Harley Quinn premium format figure. This is from Sideshow Collectibles as well. I have done a review on this and I'm going to post it here in a few. Just want to show you guys, you know, some real close up video of it. Yeah, she looks great, right? Really nice. All right, behind her is the Legends Captain America uh, shield. This is also a real cool piece. 
I like how he has it positioned on the wall like that. And there is uh, handles on the back for you to be able to hold it. So if you wanted to cosplay with this one, it looks really good. Nice paintwork on it. The Legends pieces are really cool because they're not very expensive, but they look great. Nice props. So look good. All right. And then you have a fan art Superman. This one here is also a very cool piece. Very huge. So this is a very big quarter scale Superman. Now for those of you guys who are into the Man of Steel. Let's check that out. Yeah, nice stuff. Got some more comic look to it, so not very textured, but you know, it looks good. And the base lights up, so that, that's also kind of neat. It's kind of hard to capture on camera, but you can see right there how it's a little bit lit up in the cracks. And that's what it's really supposed to look like when you do that. So really cool. And then I did a, a review on this one as well. That'll be coming up here pretty soon, all right? And then moving down, we have a fan art Wolverine. So here he is. This is based on the Marvel vs. Capcom video game. You guys have seen my review on this one already. Nice piece. This one looks just like he did from the video game. Burly as all hell. Like that simple base. Metal claws. The brown suit, I think, looked much better than the yellow and blue suit. Although, I'm a bigger fan of the yellow and blue suit myself. But this, this brown suit just came out really nice. So, nice, nice piece right there. All right. And then moving over, we have Supergirl. Another fan art. You also have seen my review on this one as well. So this one came out really good. Another nice simple base there. And again, more comic style. I liked how the base has got that, that Supergirl logo in it. Very elegant. Yeah, looks really good. All right, I'm working our way down. Gotta get down on my hands and knees down here. Making me worky. <laughs> and then we got the Ryu. This is from, from Proto Prototypes with a Z. Prototypes Studios. Studios. And this is sculpted by the man, Eric Sosa. So really nice work there. Really cool look for Ryu. Yeah, I like how he's there in his fighting stance. Looks like he did from the video game. Really nice work in the detail of the feet. Very nice texture work throughout the outfit. This is a really good looking Ryu statue. If you're looking for one, it's a nice one to get. And then, you know, it also comes with the swap out torso. And then that can be displayed like that so it looks like a bust so really cool and then you get that artwork that goes with it so really nice stuff there all right and then his last piece here is the black widow this is the original sideshow premium format figure you second look at that right there so looks really cool very beautiful looking piece you yeah. know so this was originally, the, the original ones were done with mixed media. So the entire outfit right there is real material. You know, and she's looking good. So really nice work. All right. So that is his collection room tour real quick. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Again, keep, for more videos like this, head over to mcecentral.com. We can catch all kinds of information on news, collecting, video games, and all kinds of other geek stuff because that's what we like talking about. Until next time, guys, keep it marvelous.